Yo, if you're trying to figure out how to live stream to YouTube, this will work whether you're a regular streamer or a VTuber streamer. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's do it. So the first thing to know if you've never done any form of streaming ever before is you need to find a software that's actually going to utilize and run everything through streaming. So what I use is OBS Studios. I've been streaming for five years over on Twitch and I just started streaming on YouTube this last year. I've tried lots of different programs. OBS is my favorite, so we're gonna be going over OBS today. You have Linux, Mac, and Windows. I have Windows, so you can click on that Windows download, and then you should get an EXE showing up at the bottom of your screen. Let me move myself over here. Hello. <laughs> so let me move myself there, and you're gonna get this EXE. Once it's done, we are going to click it for it to open. So then you should get this little setup guide. You can be like, next. All right, I already have OBS running because that's what I'm literally using to record right now. So you just walk yourself through those steps, and then once you get it ready, you can type in OBS in your search bar down here and then open that. Let's move over to OBS. So once you get into OBS, what you want to know is these two sections right here. There's a ton of information to learn and a lot of different resources to learn about OBS. You can check out other tutorials if you want to do a full setup, but I'm going to be doing a pretty quick setup here for the sake of time. So we're already in our scene here. You'll probably start with zero scenes. So what you're going to do is click a plus button and add a new scene. I'm going to stay in the one we're currently in because I need this for recording. Once you have your scene, you'll probably have an empty sources section. I have lots of stuff in here for mine. We're just going to click a plus button. I'm going to assume that you want to stream a game. So what you do for game streaming is you do game capture. If you just want to show a monitor or show a YouTube video, you can do display capture. There's tons of other options you can learn about in here as well. So we're going to do a game capture. We're just going to say, let's, let's say you're playing Detroit Become Human. So we're just going to do Detroit BH to stand for that. You're going to choose specific window and then you're going to choose once you have Detroit Become Human running or whatever game you're playing, you can select it and then it should show up here. Now, something to keep in mind is in the sources section, this acts like layers, like layers on a cake. So you have the frosting on top, you have the chocolate in the middle. Pretend that something like if you had a VTuber model or alerts, that would be like the frosting and the contents like the game would be the chocolate of the cake. So if you're a VTuber and you want to figure out how to set up your VTuber in OBS, you can stick around here. If not, you can skip to the next part of this video. All right, so we're going to click a plus and you'll do a game capture. And this is going to capture whatever program you're using to run your VTuber. Now, OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software. This is only for streaming. Your VTuber actually runs through another program if you're a virtual character. In my case, I'm using a program down here called VC Face. There's plenty of options out there. If you're interested in all this stuff, make sure you check out this playlist on my YouTube channel to get started in VTubing. All right, so we're going to choose capture a specific window and you're going to choose whatever your VTuber is. Mine is VC Face. And once you select that window, make sure you click allow transparency as well. Most VTuber programs want you to allow transparency to get rid of the background. It's going to be different depending on the program that you use, but hopefully that'll give you some of the tools you need to get started with showing your VTuber on stream. Make sure your VTuber is on top of your game capture or your display capture. Remember, like I said, cake layers. All right, I'm going to move myself in the middle here now so that you can see what I'm doing next. All right, so for actually live streaming to YouTube, you're going to go to settings and then you're going to get a little box up here and you go to stream. These all act as tabs over here that you can go to. So we go to stream. Right now I have restream in here. You're going to click YouTube. And now when you stream, everything for streaming has a stream key. No matter where you stream, it has to have a stream key. So whether you're streaming to Twitch, YouTube, restream, anything like that, you need a stream key. So let's go to YouTube to find what your stream key is. Psst, hey, yo, if you're wondering what kind of mic I have, if you're like, yo, that voice is smooth like, like butter. butter. If you're looking for what kind of mic to use, I highly recommend the Blue Yeti for beginners. If you want a more advanced audio setup, I'm currently using the Stellar X2 with an audio interface, which is a whole different setup called the Scarlet. You can find all that information in the description down below. And if you're like, yo, Seth, I don't even have a microphone and I don't know if I want to use a microphone for streaming. No worries. There's lots of YouTubers, streamers that don't even use a mic and they just type to chat. So do what works best for you. All right, let's find your stream key. Breaking into your heart like that. <laughs> Once you get to YouTube, usually what I do is I click this little camera up here and you can click go live. Don't worry, this will not make you go live. It's literally just the live dashboard. You can't go live just by clicking that button. So next, here's your stream key right here. You're going to click copy. Make sure you don't accidentally show this on stream because that would not be good. That's why it's hidden. So we click copy and it should copy to our clipboard and then we'll go back to OBS Studio to plug that in. But before we go back to OBS, 
podcast studio lean in for this quick tip and that is make sure you turn your stream latency to ultra low latency to keep up to date with your chat this just means that there will be less time between your broadcast going out live to people so instead of eight seconds it's going to be like four seconds i don't actually know what the numbers are but make sure you select ultra low latency you're also going to want to select a title for your live stream which you can click edit here you can do all the basic stuff you can do with the youtube videos if you've uploaded one before you can have a description you can have a title you can even have a thumbnail if you scroll down here as well and you can also add tags and choose what categories so make sure you do all this customization i highly recommend you go through all these details to figure that out all right let's go put in our stream key so then you're going to go to stream key and then you're going to control v which is going to paste your stream key in and you can click apply okay and then the only thing you have to do next is click start streaming and it will load and go through over to your youtube here you'll see it go live you'll see your chat here if you want to stick around for a bonus tip about how to actually see your live chat in obs studios or put your live chat on stream, stick around now. So something that's really cool, which is another reason why I love OBS is it has a function called, can I see that popping noise? That's the that's my dryer. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to close my door. So next you can click docs and you can do a custom browser doc. This is something that can be with inside of your OBS so that you can see your chat. So you don't have to have a YouTube tab open plus OBS. It gets really messy. You have a lot of windows open. It gets really confusing. So we're just going to call this YouTube chat. And then you're going to want to get a URL. You can do this for literally anything you want to dock on the side of your OBS, which you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. So we're going to open back up this and you're going to go to the upper right and click the three dots for your chat and click pop out chat then you can copy this command c this link up here go back to obs and then we're going to command v paste the url in click apply and then you'll get youtube chat up here you can click this window and drag it and actually do something called docking so once you see that light blue you can see that it goes up over there so this is nice because now we have our youtube chat when people are saying things in youtube right here for us to look at you can do that with twitch as well you can do that with any streaming platform that you're using if you want your chat to actually show up on stream itself you can do a very similar thing in your sources where we added our game capture and our VTuber earlier, you can click a plus and you can do browser source. We're just gonna call this YouTube chat. So this is separate than what we just did over here. Click okay. And then you're gonna paste that same URL in here. And now you can see we have our YouTube chat actually up on stream and you can drag and move that around as well. If you wanted your chat to be on stream for your chat to see, you did it, you're here. Now you might be thinking, yo, I don't even know. Should I be streaming on YouTube? Like, should I be streaming on Twitch? I'm not really sure like where the best place to stream is. Well, I actually actually made a video talking all about whether you should stream on YouTube or Twitch depending on it, your specific situation. So make sure you go ahead and click that video right here that you can see on the screen to figure out which one is going to work for you. And also if you're starting streaming, comment one thing down below. I'd love to learn what you're excited about streaming or if this is your first step. Is this your first time streaming or have you streamed before? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye!